Hi everyone, my name's Lou Sims and it's month two for the collab challenge with a group of creatives and what we've done is we give each other a theme and we all go off and we make it how we want to and all the creatives involved have a particular style or a particular genre and we want to show you as many ideas as we possibly can using just that one thing. So the theme is um, spring flowers and I'm going to use or I'm going to try and make um, three different cards sticking to a similar sort of pattern but using three different substrates. So I've got a craft card, I've got some lemon card and I've just got some plain cream card. So let's get going. Well, what I want to do is I want to still begin by stenciling a background and then I'm going to add some stamping and I'm going to stick to the same sort of colourways on each of the um, different parts. I'm using um, Shaded Design stencils and this one is Frame It and gradually I'm then going to bring in some of the Shaded Design texture stamps and possibly some bits from my little bit bag that I've got here and I've got my sentiments. So I'm using up some of the stash I've already got as well as making up other little bits as we go along. Now I'm going to fast forward some bits um, only because with the stenciling, I'm doing the same idea. So let's get cracking. Right, so that's part one, and you can just about see the detail there on the craft. Same stencil on the lemon, and it looks a little bit different, and same again on the cream. So depending on what substrate you use, you get a really cool different effect. So let's go on to the next part of the layering process. Right, I thought we'd bring in the leafing about stencil, and I'm just subtly building up a little bit of my background. and going to do exactly the same on each of the different cards. Okay, so as you can see, I'm gradually building up the layers and using the same colours and the same design and how each one looks just that little bit different, again, by just changing the colours. Now I'm going to bring in a little bit of stamping and I'm going to stick again to the same sort of spring, zesty sort of colours. So the layers are slowly building up bit by bit. And now I just want to bring in a, another colour.
So I've added um, a little bit of a another colour to it using the saltwater taffy um, on each of the backgrounds. And what I want to do now is taking the same colour, I just want to paint out um, some of the petal designs. So I'm just going to go and do that with a water brush and the same oxide ink. Okay, so that's the flower part coloured in. And because the stamp is quite loose in nature, I haven't kept the colouring particularly precise. So I'm just going to add a few other little extra bits of stamping just to tie in one or two of the colours. And then I'm going to start looking at what um, embellishments and other parts I'm going to add to my design. Okay, so that's my backgrounds finished and I'm not saying that, that I'm going to leave them as is but that's my starting point. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to let these dry and then I'm going to stick them to my card fronts and I can begin what I'm going to do with my decoration. Right, I've stuck them down and I've just cut off a little bit of a jaunty angle. I just fancied something a little bit different. So that's the longer panel, the craft onto a uh, an ivory and then that onto a craft background so everything coordinates ish together so i think the next stage is i'm going to have a rummage through my bit box or my bit bag and i'm going to pull out some of the elements i want to use on each of the cards and um, some sentiments as well
Wow, um, that took a little bit longer than I anticipated because I didn't really quite realise how many bits I had in my little bit box. So I've got all these elements here and I've just pulled some together and I'm going to stick to a similar design for each of them. I've got my distressing tool, but what I do want to do is I do want to pick out a few sentiments, which I forgot to do. So give me two and I will be back with some sentiments. Right, I grabbed a few sentiments. I couldn't decide, so I thought, let's just get, get them out so we can get these projects made. Right, so let's get the, the layering process up. Um, I'm going to stick to, within the Shady Designs um, Cleaning Kings and the paper kits, we get different circles. And what I want to do is I want to bring the circles in um, that we've got. So I'm just going to put them to one side as well and then look at the colours of the cards that I've got. But whilst I'm deciding, I want to distress all of these. I don't want them to be perfect at all. Okay, I'm going to try, oof, if I don't distract myself, to work on all three designs at the same time. Um, and then I can keep to a similar pattern on each and, and just change them a little. So, I'm just having a play with the different elements that we've got. Now I might use them and then I might not. And this to me, um, and I have said this before, this to me is like my favourite part. This is the part I thoroughly enjoy um, because I, I faff and I play around with composition. And whilst you're playing around, it just gives you the chance for your head to have a little bit of a breather about what you would like to include or not include. Right, so I'm going to do it so that goes like that. And I'm going to take, I think... Do I want to add that bit on as well? Let's have a think. Quite like that. No, I don't like it on there. So, I think we're going to have that sort of pattern. I'll keep this in here. So, I'm going to have them sitting somewhere similar. And we'll layer them all up right so let's stick those elements down that i know that i want to stick down in place now this has got a little bit of a smudge on it but we'll cover that with something Right, I've got my starting point. Now, putting those bits down with the little glue pads probably took a little bit longer, but sadly, I went and bought some new foam pads and I bought the wrong size, so I am determined to use them up. So I apologise now if it seems to be taking me forever 
to stick things down with foam pads, but I am determined to use them up. Right now, I'm just going to sit here and look at all the different elements I've got, um, add my sentiment and gradually just add lots of the different backgrounds, um, stamped elements together and, and slowly, you know, have a similar theme with each of them and build them all up. Right, okay, so that's the basic composition. Now, I know there's lots of these elements that haven't been coloured in, and normally I would colour them in, but as I'm 
just going with the flow a little bit. I'm just placing things um, and having the black and white means now I can colour them to suit my actual projects. So this is going to be the, the rough layout for this design. And I'm going to go away now and just paint up the elements. And as you can see, this is for this one. I will probably add a little bit more in. But at the moment, th this is roughly what I'm going with. And as I said, I'm going to go away, colour up the elements and I'll be back to do the last little bits of all the faffing. Well, I've already faffed, but add a little bit more faff on top. Whoa, so sorry about that. My camera fell out of its holder and fell on crashing down. I managed to catch it, but I'm fortunately I've managed to delete what I did. Hey ho. OK, a quick recap. So when I last left you, I had the composition and I went and coloured the images. So I've gone and coloured the images. And then what I've done is I've just added a few gems in and I've added a few sequins just because I, I thought it would be cool. And I, I, I just like those little finishing touches. It also covers, you know, the, the centres of the flowers. Um, and gives your eyes a different focal point. So this is the DL card, as you can see. So I'm going to bring it up. I've got all the layering as I've done. Um, and then I've just raised some up with 3D foam pads and some are flat. Um, I decided to go with three sentiments for this one rather than one. And I've just noticed the sequins just fallen off there. So I will have to do something about that. Anyhow, so... I've kept it, like I said, to the main composition. The colours of all of the elements that weren't coloured in are the same colour oxides that I used to create my background. So there's a little bit of continuity with that. So that's the DL inspired card. So this one is A6 in size. And again, um, I've kept the, the line up exactly the same. And then what I've done is um, added a few more elements. I think from when I left, I had these down here. And I didn't like them, so I put them amongst the design. And I've added a few extra leaves in places just to finish out the bouquet. And the craft card. And I, I think I'm near enough stuck to the same composition. Um, one or two maybe added elements in, like a couple of flowers and a couple of extra leaves. But I've left it, that one, as is. Um, so there's little pops of colour everywhere. And again, there's a few gems and sequins just to finish it off. So those are my three cards, um, all from the same starting point, all using the same stencils and stamps to create the backgrounds and keeping to the same colours. So as the theme is spring um, flowers, I'm hoping that these, you know, fill that vibe beautifully. And I'm hoping it also shows you how you can use your stencils and your background stamps, you know, to create really quick, vibrant backgrounds when you have a project. And don't forget your bit box, which I've got to thank Julia McNeil from JMC for, uh, who started off that trend for me, watching her have all those little bits and being able to grab them in really quickly to create projects is now my go to. I've linked below all the products I've used and also a list of all the different um, creatives who are involved in this collab today. Please do visit them all. We'd love it if you're not already a subscriber. Please subscribe to the channels, um, like and comment. YouTube is all about liking and commenting now. Um, so that would be a bonus for us all. And this is our second collab for, the, for each month. But watch this space because we're hoping to build on it and invite more and more people into it. Thank you ever so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed that. Take care and I look forward to seeing you all soon.